Let the spirit of the Lord say. Let the spirit of the Lord. Let it rise. Come on now. Let the spirit of the Lord. Let it rise. Let the praises of our King. Let it rise. Come on now. So we sing. Joy of the Lord say, let the joy of the Come on Lord now, let it rise. Mm, let the joy come on now, let it rise. Let the praises of our King, let it rise. Come on now, let it rise. Let the praise of our King, let it rise. Come on now, we've got to let it rise. So we sing, oh, oh, oh. let it rise. So we're singing, oh, 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 let it rise, yeah, let it rise. So we sing, come on, we're singing, oh, 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 oh yeah, oh, we're singing, oh, 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 oh yeah, oh, 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 we're singing, oh, oh, oh yeah. Spirit of the Lord say, let the Spirit of the Lord let it rise. rise Come on us. now, let, let the Spirit of the Lord let it rise. Let the praises of, of our King let it rise. rise. Come on us. now, let it rise. Hey, 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 so we sing. Joy of the Lord say, let the joy of the come Lord on now, let it rise. Mm, let, the joy, let the joy come on now, let it rise. Let the praises of our King, let it rise. Come on now, let it rise. Let the praises of our King, let it rise. Come on now, we've got to let it rise. So we sing, oh. So we're singing, oh, 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 oh let it rise, yeah. Let it rise. So we sing, come on, we're singing, oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, 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 we're singing, oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, 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 we're singing, oh, oh, oh yeah. Let 
the spirit of the Lord say. Let the spirit of the Lord let it rise. rise Come on now, let, let the spirit of the Lord let it rise. rise. Let the praises of, of our King let it rise. rise. Come on. Let the glory of the Lord let it rise. rise. Come on now, let, let the glory of the Lord let it rise. rise. Let the praises of, of our King let it rise. rise. Spirit of the Lord say, let the spirit of the Lord let it rise. rise Come on now, let, let the spirit of the Lord let it rise. rise. Let the praises of, of our King let it rise. rise. Come, Come on now, let it rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we sing. Joy of the Lord say, let the joy of the come Lord on now, let it rise. Mm, let, the the let, the rise. let the joy come on now, let it rise. Let the praises of our King, let it rise. Come on now, we praise the Lord. Let it rise. Come on now, we've got to let it rise. So we sing. So we're singing, oh, 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 let it rise, yeah, let it rise. So we sing, come on, we're singing, oh, 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 oh yeah, oh, oh, we're singing, oh, 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 oh yeah, oh, 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 we're singing, oh, oh, oh yeah. Spirit of the Lord say, let the spirit of the Lord let it rise. rise. Come on now, let the spirit of the Lord let it rise. Let the praises of our King let it rise. Come on now, let it rise. Let the praises of our King let it rise. Praises of, of our King, let it rise. rise. Come, on, Come on now, we've got to let it rise. So we sing, oh, 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 oh. let it rise. rise. Mm. So we sing.
be singing now. Yeah, we're singing now. Yeah. Oh, come on, let it rise, let it rise. Our King. Our King. Let it rise, rise. Come, on let it rise. come on now. Praises of, of our King, let it rise. Come on now, we've got to let it rise. So we sing, oh, 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 let it rise. Mm. So we sing, oh, 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 let it rise. Yeah, so we sing. Good morning, church. We're singing now. Yeah. We're singing now. Yeah. Good morning. Pray with me, please. <clears throat> Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for another opportunity to come together and be here for each other. Dear God. Thank you for another chance to come here and learn better about your will and what you'll have us to do when we leave here, dear God. Dear God, please help us to learn more on how to find pleasure in, in, in being in your will, dear God, instead of the pleasures of this world, dear God. Please forgive us for the wrongs that we've done, and please help us to just be better this week, dear God. <clears throat> Dear God, we want to pray for the people who couldn't be here today, and we thank you for the opportunity to be able to reach them, and we pray that they get their portion today, dear God. Um, thank you, and please help us to be the Christian that you have us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <clears throat> Let's 
Lord, hold my hand while I run this. We're singing, Lord, hold my hand well, while I run this. Come on, we're singing, Lord, hold my hand. Hold my hand, Lord, while I will, because I don't want to run this race in vain. Racing, got my feet, Lord, Lord, got my feet. Well, while I run this we're singing out, Lord, got my, got my feet now while I run this. Oh, we're singing, Lord, got my feet. Well, while I run this because I. I don't want to run this race in vain, racing, help me to hold out, Lord, help me to hold out, hold out while I run this We're singing out, Lord, help me, me to hold out while I run. Oh, and we're singing out, Lord, help me to hold out, hold out while because I don't want to run this race in vain, race in hold my hand, Lord, Lord, hold my, hold my hand, well, while I run this race, oh, singing, Lord, hold, hold my hand, well, and while I run this come on, we're singing, Lord, hold my Hold my hand, Lord, while I run Because I don't want to run this race in vain Race in vain I'd like to say good morning to everybody. How's everybody doing this morning? All right, you guys ready for the Super Bowl? No? No? Okay. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Yeah. All right, all right. We're going to open up with, I'm going that way. Which way we going? Huh? Which way? <laughs> going this way, okay. Just double check it, just double check it. All right. I've heard of a land of joy and peace and wonderful life and wonderful life. A beautiful place, a mansion's fair and skies ever bright and skies ever bright. Well, Saviors forever shall say. Well, I'm going that way. Oh, and you know I'm going that way. I'm going. Well, yes, I'm going that way. I'm going. Oh, and Jesus the Savior, I adore. He's with me each day. He's with me each day. Yes, I'm clinging to Him. Will and never to stray and never to. Yes, I'm singing His praises all day long. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. The glorious news I tell and sing as onward I go, as onward I go. That those who are still astray in sin, so my Savior may know, my Savior may know. I want them to sing his praise above some beautiful day. Oh, for glory to him who died for me. I'm going that way. Oh, and you know I'm going that way. Oh, well, I'm going that way. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, the Savior, I adore. He's with me each day. Oh, and you know I'm clinging to him and never to stray. Oh, yes, yeah, singing his praises all day long. I'm going that way. Mm, well, I am a hard fighting soldier and I'm on the bad. Oh, and I am a hard fighter. Oh, and you know I'm on the bad. 
Don't you know I am a hard fighting soul And you know I'm on the battlefield And I'll keep on bringing souls to Jesus My the service that well And if you are sick and you cannot get well And you just call well, oh, and when you are sick and you cannot get well And you just call up on Oh, when, when you are sick and you cannot get well And you just call up on Well, and I'll keep on ringing so Oh, by the service that I've got a helmet on my head and in my hand, my sword. Oh, and I've got a helmet on my head and in my hand, my sword. Oh, and I've got a helmet on my head and in my hand, my sword. Well, and I'll keep on ringing so. Oh, by the service that well, and I have taken the master's hand, and you know I'll serve him too. Oh, and I have taken the master's hand, and you know I'll serve him too. Oh, and I have taken the master's hand, and you know I'll serve him Well, I'll keep on bringing him. So to Jesus by the service that will and if I die then let me die in the service of the Lord and if I die then let me die will in the service of the war and you I die then let me die in the service uh, well, and I keep on bringing so well, and I keep on bringing every day. I will bring souls to Jesus by the sir that I hear. Amen. Before our scripture reading and prayer, heaven's on the other side. Do y'all believe that? Okay, okay, all right. Just check it. Just check it. Heaven is on the other side. 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 I will make it. I will make it. Sopranos. Heaven's on the other side. Heaven's on the other side. Heaven's on the other side. Heaven is on. Altos. Heaven's on the other side. Heaven's on the other side. The side, oh, heaven is on the other side, and I will make it. Heaven. Come on, tennis. Heaven on the other side. Heaven's on the other side. Heaven's on the other side. Heaven's on the other side. Well, heaven's on the earth. Come on, we're singing about heaven. Yeah, it's on the other side. I know that heaven. Well, it's on the other side. Well, you know I'm going to work real hard so that I can make it on in. Come on, and we're singing about I know it's on the other side. 
How many of you believe that heaven? I know it's on the other side. Well, you know I'm gonna work real hard so that I can make it on in. Come on and one of these mornings it won't be long. You're gonna look for me and I'll be gone. I'll be singing, I'll be shouting, praising the Lord. Well, you know that I will, I will, yeah. Come on, we're singing again that. I know that heaven's on the earth, and I believe in that heaven. I'm working to get to the other side. Well, you know that I will, I will. Heaven, I will make it, I will make it. Well, you know that I will make it, I will make it. One more time and then I will make it, I will make it on. Good morning. This morning's scripture reading will come from the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verses 20 through 22. Once again, Proverbs chapter 6, verses 20 through 22. My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake the law of your mother. Bind them continually upon your heart. Tie them around your neck. When you roam, they will lead you. When you sleep, they will keep you. And when you awake, they will speak with you. That concludes the scripture reading. If you're able to, please stand for prayer. Dear most gracious and kind Father which is in heaven, we come to you at this time with bowed heads and humble hearts, Heavenly Father, to say thank you. Amen. Thank you, thank you so much Amen. for all that you have done for us on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've allowed us to see. We realize that some were not granted this opportunity, but we thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all of the blessings that you bestow upon our lives. Heavenly Father, we realize that we have not done enough good, nor that we deserve the blessings that you bestow upon us. But nevertheless, as your children, you choose to show love, grace, and mercy to us time and time again, giving us more opportunity to get our lives right with you and also to try and be good Christian examples here on earth to try and lead others to you. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who have come here this morning. We pray that we have come for no other purpose than to serve you in worship and in truth. Father, if there are any that are amongst us that have come for any other purpose. We pray that you will try and just work within their hearts so they may realize the true reason for coming out on this Sunday morning. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for this service that is being offered up to you this morning. We pray that it will be accepted by you. We pray for all those who are working within this service. Heavenly Father, we pray a special prayer for your manservant, 
Brother Gary, he will take forth the pulpit shortly. Father, continue to be with him. Father, continue to keep him humble and having the desire to want to do what you have called him to do. Yes. Heavenly Father, allow him to preach your word this morning without any addition or subtraction. Yes. Give him a good, a good ready recollection of the things that he has studied. Yes. Heavenly Father, we pray for us as members. We pray that we will, if it's your word, we will accept it as truth and not fight against it, Heavenly Father. Yes. Heavenly Father, we pray for the church as a whole. We pray for the leadership here, the minister, the elders, elders, and the deacons. Heavenly Father, they have a great responsibility. We pray that you will just continue to be with them, keep them encouraged, give them the wisdom that they need to do what you have called them to do. We pray for their wives, that they will support them in their efforts as well. We pray for us as members, Heavenly Father. We pray that we will be just do better, Heavenly Father, and not go against your will, and not be argumentative or disagreeable. Heavenly Father, we, we pray for us as a people. We just need to be better, Heavenly Father. At work, we need to be better employees. At school, we need to be better students. At home, we need to be better husbands better wives, better parents. Heavenly Father, help us realize that we need to be better Christians every day of the week. And not just Sundays or Wednesdays, but Sunday through Saturday. We need to be much more consistent and just do better. Heavenly Father, we just ask that you just please continue to bless us and keep us in your mighty hands. In your son's name, we do humbly pray. Amen. Amen. I love to praise him. You sing, I love to praise him. I love to praise him. You sing, I love to praise him. I love to praise him. Come on, sing, I love to praise him. Will I love to praise his holy name because he's my rock, y'all. He's my, he's my rock, my rock, my sword. Don't you know he's a will and he's a will in the middle of Oh, and I know he'll never know him. He'll never, never let me down. He's just a Jew. Well, come on, that I have found. And I'm singing hallelujah, hallelujah. You say I love to praise this. Come on, sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, now I love to pray. Come on and sing a hallelujah. And hallelujah, you say I love to praise him. Well, I love to praise his holy name because he's my rock, y'all. Oh, he's my rock, my rock, my sword. Don't you know he's the wind? And he's the well in the middle. Oh, and I know he'll never, I know he'll never, never. Thank you, brother. He's just a, he is that I, we sing hallelujah, hallelujah, well I love to praise it, let's sing hallelujah, well I love to praise it, let's sing hallelujah, 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 I love to praise it, well I love in the morning, I love. In the evening, I love. Holy name. Amen. Good morning, everyone. It's good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Good to see everyone. Uh, if you're guests, you're a welcome guest and you're an honored guest. And thank you for joining us here at the Philwar Church of Christ. Our elders will acknowledge all of our 
I guess, at the end of worship service. Let's say good morning to our online audience. Good morning. I hope you, hopefully you're in a place that you can, can concentrate on worshiping God this morning. Uh, you got your coffee and you, 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 you're out of the covers uh, this morning. God is good. God is good. Everybody looks good. You look, you look good this morning. You had, you had your breakfast? Now, hopefully you had your breakfast this morning. Uh, uh, I'm Gary Smith, and I'm just glad and honored to stand before you this morning to proclaim a word for him. I love Sundays. I love it. I love the first day of the week. And uh, uh, Brother, Brother Isaiah lifted us up in those songs. Amen. And, and the last one, I love to praise his holy name. Amen, 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 amen. Uh, I want to say some other things, but I'm going to dive right into my lesson. I've started a series this month entitled Building Healthy Relationships, Building Healthy Relationships. And uh, today's lesson is subtitled The Model, The Model. And you stay with me this morning. I hope the Lord will speak to all of us through his word this morning. All right? All right. Say amen again. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, In order to build a healthy relationship, we need to know what healthy looks like. Amen? And so we use that term loosely. Uh, The world would say, Uh, different things about what healthy looks like. Uh, But I'm going to stick with the Word of God. That's okay with you. One of the, if not the most effective ways of teaching any concept or behavior is modeling or demonstrating. Uh, We teach our children how to talk and how to speak by talking and speaking by by reading to them and even singing to them. And if we speak clearly to them, the language, amazing how kids can learn languages, we speak the language, then they listen and, and they will soon start speaking. They start off mumbling and and, and Googling and goggling. And, but if you speak long enough to them, they'll repeat what you say. Amen. Amen. Everything you say. <laughs> yeah. And the sooner, the better. And the easier, the sooner you start. Now, I, 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 wanted to, I have so much I want to say. Through God's word, but I, I have to start, start, we got to help some folks. We got to help us. And I know some of you are older, we, our children are grown, and we've done some things, and, but, 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 but we have a lot of young families in here. And, and one of the reasons why, why our relationships suffer, none of our relationships are, per, are perfect, but God has a model for us to live by. And one of the reasons why, why we as grown folks, we get so dysfunctional in our relationships is, is something, something didn't happen early enough in our lives. And if I was to ask every parent in here right now, who ha- especially every parent who have grown children in here right now, would that be something that you would do a little bit different if you had a second chance at it? Uh, we are so smart that we grown now. I, 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 when I was doing this, I said, ooh, boy, I, ooh, I, I would definitely do some things differently. So, so don't, be, don't be no guilt trip on you, on you about how you raise your grown children. No guilt trip, but we need to help each other. Amen? Amen. And, and so, so, so we, we starting, we're starting at the root when we're talking about building healthy relationships. A child comes into this world based with basically a blank slate. Of course, they have our gray matter. 
Of course, there are some, ten some tendencies biologically that we give to our children, but their brains basically are blank, knowing nothing, totally depending on the guidance of their guardian, their parents for survival and for growth. Totally. And so let me make the statement that healthy relationships start with quality parenting. And you don't have to amen it if you don't want to. But, but parents have such an important role when it comes to developing a child and developing their social skills and developing how they interact with anybody. Amen? amen. And so I want to just say this. Is, 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 if you are a parent in here right now and you have a child that's, a uh, child that's under 10 years old, under 10 years old, uh, would you mind, if you can, stand for just a second? Stand for just a second. I, this is not to, I just want you to, the church to see who we, who we have in here. Now, a lot of these, a lot of their kids are over in children's worship service. And so, 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 and, and so the whole church, we need to pray for them, don't we? Yeah, yeah. But this is beautiful. This is awesome. Thank you. You can be seated. Now, now to the rest of us, this, I mean, this, this goes to all of us. But, but let's make a commitment that we are going, I'm not going to say that our kids are under a curse, but let's, let's make a commitment to break some of these generational cycles of dysfunctionality in our families in our homes, in our relationship. We're talking about building all relationships, not just the, the husband-wife relationship, but, but all relationships, dealing with people. And if we're going to break some of the dysfunction, we're going to have to start early. Early. Shaping, shaping our relationship. The brother read you here in a few moments ago from Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20. Listen to this again. My son, observe the commandment of your father. Do not forsake the teaching of your mother. Bind them continually on your heart. Tie them around your neck. When you walk about, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. And when you awake, they will talk to you. Listen to verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp and, a and the teaching is light. And reproofs for discipline are the way of life. It is for us as parents to, 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 to just be in this training mode when it comes to our kids. And the ideal model for healthy relationships, according to the scriptures that I read, listen, the ideal model is training, it's obedience, and it's respect when it comes to healthy relationships. Not exhaustively, but that, this has to be involved. That you, you know the passage in Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way he should go. Everybody say train. train. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he's old, he will not depart from him. You know that passage. You, Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. Listen to this. Children, be obedient. Everybody say obedient. Obedient, obedient to your parents. Notice the scripture says, in all things. Not some things. In all, for this is well pleasing to the Lord. And, 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 and parents got to put in the work. Yeah. Parents, 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 you got to put in the work. Oh, it's worth it. If you put in the work early, it makes it easier later on. Amen. Amen. And I know you are here this morning. I know you're committed. If I had to do it over again, if some of us had to do it over again, we would put in more work. We would have put in more work, more time. That would have been more praying. That would have been more reading. That would have been more singing. That would have been more uh, 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 having uh, devotions. That would have been more time, quality time spent with our kids. That would have been more talking. That would have been more checking. And so, 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 so to those of you that don't have kids, if you don't want to put in the work, don't have no children. Amen. I, I, if you don't want, if you're just going to have some babies, 
Tie your tubes. Oh, did I say that? I, I just. Yeah, you too, brothers. So you too. <laughs> I know the sisters wanted to hear that. I said that. I had to say that. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to this. The scripture says for us to train our children, and it's talking about in everything. And I know this makes an assumption that we parents know what we're doing. A lot of times we parent, we, we just trial and error. And, and, and we don't have, our, we don't have a, a training guide or a rule book. But, 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 but God gives us some guidance. L- listen to Matthew chapter 7, verse, verse, verse 12. Matthew 7, 12. In everything, everybody say everything. everything. See, there are, some, there, are some, there are some basic principles in God's word that guide us. And, and, and so, so when we're training our children, we're training them in everything. We want to train them to have wholesome habits. See, habits form out of repetition. And, and you have to start some things early for your kids to pick up these wholesome habits that's going to guide them the rest of their lives. And, 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 and some of the principles we need to teach our kids, like Matthew 7, 12, in everything that this is one principle, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. Yeah, that's a, that's a principle for all of us. You don't, have to, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You know how you like to talk to people, how, how you know how you like people to talk to you. You talk to them the same way. We need to teach our children gratitude at an early, early age. How to be thankful, how to be unselfish in their behavior. Because you, know, I found out, you know, I don't know, I, tell you, I, I said I'd do some things different. But I found that little kids at a young age, they just selfish as they can be. You found that out? You know, kids, kids look, a small little kid, they, they learn, it's, it's amazing how the words they learn. They learn words like no. <laughs> they, they learn, they, they'll say mine. And, and sometimes there's somebody else can have something, they'll grab it and say mine, it's not even theirs. And they'll say, mine. And they'll say, no, no. And notice this. Guardians, we have to teach little babies how not to be selfish. Yeah, yeah. Little kids, no. You know, to everything. Yeah, yeah my, my uh, you know, my, 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 my grandchildren, boy, I say, oh, my goodness. They're always asking you for something. And, and if you don't teach them thankfulness, listen, the scripture says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, in everything give thanks. And you know why some grown folks are selfish and ungrateful and dysfunctional in relationships? Because they didn't, they didn't learn when they were young and somebody didn't guide them that you, it can't, you can't have your way all the time. Amen, Amen somebody. Yeah, you, you've got grown folks that's just as selfish and they are dysfunctional in the relationship because all they do is think about. Hey Amen, somebody. Yeah, man, and my little grandkid, they come to me. They come to me, big daddy, big daddy. Uh, open it. They'll say, open it. They can't open up some candy or some juice. Oh, open this for me. And, and, and I'm, I'm like, did you ask your mama? Did you, did you ask your daddy? Yes. And they don't be just be telling the tale. <laughs> But you know, grandparents, we so, you know, we, I be no. Give it here, give it here. And I open it for them, give it to them, and they just run off. I say, hold up. What you going to say? And, my, and my, 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 my grandbaby that's named after me, his middle name, he just look at you with them big eyes. Don't, don't say nothing. I look at him, I say, what you going to say? He just look at me. I say, say, thank you. And he still would just look at me. <laughs> I have to take it from him. And he started crying. And I say, what you going to say? He just keep crying. I say, what you going to say? And finally, I say, thank you. He said, thank you. 
But you know what? Listen, this, uh, this, 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 this is humorous, but he, he was stubborn. You're not, and, and, and I say, you're not going to get it till you say thank you. And so guess what happens now with him? He would tell, he would do something, and he'd come to me, and if I give it to him, you guess what he says? Thank you. Guess, you say, Greg Gary, that's just, that is, this, if, you, we, if the grown folks don't teach them, some of us grown, we don't say thank you to our wife. We are so ungrateful. Oh, she's my wife anyway, but girl, she pulled her. Are you serious? That's, that's, that, that it, we, we need to teach, we need to be thankful as not just in a husband-wife relationship when we're dealing with each other. Gratitude opens all kind of doors in life for all relationships. On your job, learn to be thankful. The scripture says be thankful for everything. Somebody bring you a glass of water, say, you have, to, you have to drive through at McDonald's and somebody, you, you paying for the food. They hand you the food. Say, we're talking about building healthy relationships the way God wants us to build them. And these are qualities that we, 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 we got to start. We, we need to make these positive habits so we are functional when we are in a meeting with somebody. Maybe they're your adversary, whoever they are. But you are grateful. You are different. We are, we are lights in the world. You don't have to walk around being mean to everybody. We need to teach, our, teach them a work ethic. Notice this. While they are young. All these lazy folks. I, let me control yourself, Gary. I was watching this early this morning. It showed five young, young guys who, who walk going around robbing older folks, following them from the bank, hitting them upside the head. What's wrong with that? They want easy money. And, and, and they want quick money. What happened? Get a job. Earn your money. And, and see, you, you listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. you, you, see, you, you start early. Give these little kids some chores to do. Yeah. Amen. They do everything. Some of us walk around our kids picking up right behind them. Make them pick up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, look here. They, I know they have dishwashers now. Let them put a dish in the washer. Yeah, let, let, let's, 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 listen to Proverbs chapter 6, verse 9. Proverbs 6, 9. How long will you lie down? The proverb, solid, the proverb writer writes, O oh, sluggard, when will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Your poverty will come in like a vagabond, and your need like an... See, God won't... We, in, in all, see, our, God won't healthy relationships are working folks. And I know, I, I, I'm going I'm to work, I'm going to make enough money, and, and I'm going to hire me a maid. That's good. If you make enough money to hire a maid, I'll pray, praise the Lord. But, but everybody got to do something. Yeah, a maid not with you all the time. You put a glass down, and, and, and you want somebody to pick up the glass? Yeah, God, working, I, mean, I, I remember, I, see, I, I remember <laughs> I went to, went to move one of my daughters out of, out of, out of, out of school. They were in college, and I went to move one of the, the, the back, back home during the break, and she had two roommates. And I walked into that, that, that place where they were living. <laughs> and, they, and they were not there. They were not there. They were, I don't know where they were, but I was trying to hear them get it done, and I had one of my buddies with me. I walked into there, and I said, what is this? <laughs> is living here <laughs> and I, I told I said I, I said daughter I said who, who, who what y'all what she said she said daddy and I, and I went to, I thank the Lord I went to her room it was it, looks, it wasn't as bad as their room I said daughter y'all live like this 
And she said, Dad, now she, she said, Daddy, both of my roommates had maids. They had maids at their house. And I said, I don't care. <laughs> no. Who? I, I said, baby. I said, she said, she said I, try, I try to tell her. So I just stay in my space. And I say that, see, listen, listen. See, healthy, healthy relationships. This is, a, go, go to Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Colossians 3, 23. Whatever you do. Do your work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance if it is the Lord Christ whom you serve. See, there are some things should nobody be doing for us that we can do for ourselves. Amen? Amen. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, you make a whole, whole lot of money, that's fine. But, but, but I, I'm going to be a housewife. Housewife, that's more work than work, working on a job. <laughs> Amen. Some, who wants to be with somebody and don't, even, don't get me even started on a lazy man. You know, your, 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 your relationship, if you, are, if you are lazy and if you are sorry, you are not going to have a healthy relationship. Notice this, with nobody. <laughs> Amen, somebody. We, we don't need, like, see, the, the ushers, the ushers, the ushers, they have to stand up. See, they have to stand up. Some, see, some, some guys couldn't stand that long. You know why? They didn't learn it, and they're just not going to do it. Amen? When Jesus selected his 12 apostles, they were working men. Men of action. And the Lord's work is what it is. It's work. You have to have mental stability, physical capabilities, and in healthy relationships, I don't care if you're not met, in healthy relationships, everybody works. The scripture identifies people who are sluggards and who are lazy and who are always mooching off of somebody else. So, so I, don't, I don't have very much sympathy, especially for lazy men. And, 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 and because the Lord gave me all girls, I don't have much sympathy for lazy girls. Amen. I couldn't, I didn't have no boys to teach, so I, I, I taught my girls how to, how to work. Amen, somebody? They had jobs, parents, I don't want my children to work, I don't know why not. They're going to be living off you the rest of your life. A, 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 a non-working person makes life hard on everybody. And so if you're building a relationship, sisters, you, you, if that, you better, sisters, you want some trouble, you get yourself a lazy man, somebody who won't, they want you to, I know you better not marry nobody who wants you to take care of them. I can't find a job, go act like you're working. <laughs> that was my dad, he used to come here sometimes, we'd be sitting around, he said, we said, dad, ain't nothing to do, act, go get, find something to do. <laughs> hmm. And, and the proverb writer tells, he, he says, you bind these commandments. You, you got to teach, teach the kids early to respect people. Yeah, see, no, these, are, these are qualities that, that carry on the rest of our lives. For instance, you know, Ephesians chapter, chapter 6, verse 2 says, to honor, value your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. See, in, in, in relationships, see, uh, uh, we have to learn how to Honor and respect the other person. Yeah. Yeah. Saying thank you. Saying I appreciate. Yeah. Uh, learn early, early, early how to teach the little boys how to treat a woman, how to treat females. You, know, you, know, you got to teach them early too because cause, you know, little kids, they like to hit. You know, they push each other. Oh, but they just kids. Uh-uh, some stuff you don't do. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. You know, some stuff you have, to, you have to teach them not to do. A little, uh, like in our family, the, the boy, the, 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 now the girls will hit the boys first. <laughs> and and, and sometimes I know it's a disadvantage sometimes to little boys. I know I am. I'm going to come back because I won't let the boy. I, I, you do not hit a girl. 
That's what I took. No, no. Uh, well, Big Daddy, she hit me. I said, you don't hit her back. Come tell me. And I don't know some of y'all say, you better hit her back. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it. Listen, I'm saying it. It's, it, it's, it's not humorous because, because, see, I never, never, ever in my life, never, ever saw my dad even come close to putting his hands on my mom. Never. But you, 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 you on, I know I'm on, I know, I know some, we have different upbringings and different, but see, if we're going to teach our, we're we, we trying to help the future generations, amen? We're trying to help out. If we're going to teach them, we got to teach them, amen? One of the reasons why, see, I, I ne- so I, it hadn't ever come c- close to my mind thinking I'm going to put my hands on Sister KB. Why? Well, it was ingrained in me. You respect, you boy, you strong, you do not touch, don't hit that girl, that woman. And some of us have not seen that. Some of us have seen the opposite. So and some of us, we get in arguments with people and we just go off and we lose all control. If we're going to teach the little ones better, we got to be under control. And we have to teach them to honor people, honor, respect. I, I, I can't even, I can't fathom, listen to that now. I can't fathom cursing my mother or my father. I can, can I, can I, I'm, I'm just, can I, 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 brother, I, I grew up in, I understand, but, but you, we talking about what God wants. Amen, somebody? Just because you saw somebody else do something, and, and, and so, so I can't even, and, and now in homes, you know it happens. It would, and, and, and some of it happens because they haven't heard this. They haven't read this, and they don't see it. And if I, if I, if I, I curse, my Bible says, honor mother and father. This is the first, this is the first commandment that has a promise to it from God. But Boogie, you don't know my mama, my mama, she just talk all the, she just run her mouth and talk all the time. I know, I know, I know. But see, when the Bible says children obey your parents and the Lord, see, understand this. You won't be a child that long anyway. And, and now, you know, after you go through parenthood, you understand some things. See, parents are under a lot of stress. I'm not making excuses for parents, but when you're trying to pay bills and your health gets foggy and you, you end up in a, in a, a, a your, your relationship not what it needs to be, it puts stress on you. And then you add people on your job, acting crazy, talking crazy, asking you to do things. Then you come to church and folk acting crazy. And sometimes the stress makes you lash out at your, at your kids. You say things, parents, we all need to, we, we need to take heed to this because there's no excuse for us to do it. But I understand some things as a kid, you will never understand what your parents are going through. They're they trying to keep the lights on. They got one more day to pay the bill. They, 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 the car note behind. And, and parents, no excuses for your parents. And I'm not saying kids because kids are too young to understand all of this. But what the Bible tells to you as a child is still to honor your mother and your father. Just listen to them. Listen, I mean, you want some peace in your home? Be obedient. Amen. Because because I, you say what you will, I know there's some exceptions to the rule, and I know there's, there's some people who abuse, but very few parents, people, your parents is the, best, is the best line of defense. They're the most important person in your life. They're going to love you. If, if, if you got put out the house and you call Brother Gary and say, Brother Gary, I need to come stay with you, I'm going to say, no, I'll go back home. And that your parents are the, you, 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 and so what, I'm, what are you saying, Brother Gary? I'm saying as a child, you, you obey, you, you stop making them mad. Do what they ask you to do. As long as it's not illegal. And I understand why God put that in the Bible. Because God, he didn't say, he didn't say to the parents, Parents, I want you to sit your chair. I want you to explain to them everything that's going on, why you upset before you do it. You don't have time to do all of that. 
Sometimes you have to make a decision. You go, listen, I want you to clean up your room. I want you to be in the bed at a certain time. I want you to do your homework. I don't want you going over there. I ain't got time to preach a whole lesson, tell you why. I don't want you hanging with that boy. Why, why, daddy? Because he's crazy. <laughs> they don't want to say that all the time. But they know, they're looking at him. They're looking at him. They know, what kind of, they know what kind of person he is. And they're not telling you all of that. They've grown. They have more experience. God says, oh, notice this. Healthy relationships require obedience. Yeah, and see, look, uh, look, you, 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 it just, it just, say this to yourself if you get too antsy. Say this to yourself. Oh, Lord, I can't wait till I get to be 18. <laughs> Although that ain't long enough. Uh, some of us, we do say, it, I can't wait till I'm grown. Well, guess what? You go, it, it, you, you, see, by the time you, 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 when you, when you go from one till about 12, you, you, sh, you, you should be under complete obedience to your parents. Total obedience. Don't be questioning them and all of that. Don't be getting hard-headed. So what it does, it keeps you out of trouble. It keeps you living longer. And, 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 and at the tough years of when you're 13 to 17, Somebody say 20. You start feeling yourself. And you want to be grown. And you want to try all of this. You want to hang out. You, that's when you need the parents the most. Because they're going to keep you out of a whole lot of trouble. If you, if you listen to them. If you, notice this. If you obey them. Teenagers, just be patient a little bit longer. You're going to have your chance. See, most of us, if we live according to the scriptures, if we live to be 75, 80 years old, from 20 to 75, that's 50, you, you're going to be grown longer than you a child. Yeah. And so you can, when you get grown, you can do your thing. Yeah. And, when you, <laughs> and when you hit about 25 or 30, you're going to be saying, boy, I wish I could go back home. <laughs> Ooh, I now, now you're going to be saying, boy, I see what mama was talking about. Now, listen, we're talking about healthy relationships. And so, 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 so a healthy relationship requires, it requires obedience. Yeah. Yeah. See, early enough, Early enough, we got to li listen to Ephesians 5, 33, Ephesians 5, 33. Nevertheless, each individual among you is to love his own wife, even as himself. And then the wife must see to it that she respects her husband. That's what the scripture says. Now, we're talking about healthy relationship. Well, Gary, you, you're talking about little children. I know. We, I know. See, early on, remember... The best teaching method is modeling. It really is. Because, see, it's modeling, it's demonstrating. Because you can get the words wrong, but if you're getting the actions right, the kids, they go, see, because if you, if you do the opposite, they're going to they see a hypocrite. And so, so, so you, 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 you modeling, you, 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 you're treating your wife a certain way. And I'm telling you, kids are so, they watch everything. They know when you're lying. After a certain age, a kid know when you lie. They'll, they'll say something like, "Mama, I thought you you." <laughs> let me let me not use that example. <laughs> I thought you said. And, and so 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 when they, they can watch you, how you treating a woman, not just your wife, females, how you talk to them, and they and, and a boy will see that. You, you you let a boy see. You let, you let a, a, a young boy see me open the door for my wife. I know people don't do this hardly anymore, but if you let my a son see me open the door for my wife. He, he sees me. He's walking behind me, and he sees me open. He said, Daddy, what you doing? I said, I'm opening the door for you. You let him see that and see the effect it has on him. Amen. But, girl, I don't do that. Well, do you, I know you, you, you do your thing. But we're talking about healthy relationships. 
Where, no, notice that the Bible says husband, no, 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 it tells the husbands to love. Because God know a woman needs love. She need to know, brothers. She need to know. That care is her. She needs love. And, and notice, the best way, to sh best way to, is to demonstrate that you love. You want to teach a, 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 a boy to be functional in a healthy relationship when he grown? Show him what love looks like. Amen, Amen somebody. And then opposite, then it, it, and then and it tells the wife. It, notice the Bible, it don't tell the wife. It don't say, wives, love your husbands. Because brothers, we want respect. It's just a fact. To us, that's love. Amen? Yeah, if my... Yeah. <laughs> a little boy is sitting in the house. A, a young lady is sitting in the house. And, and, and mama is ministering to her husband. And she sees that. You know, baby, you, 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 you all right? You want something? You want me to fix your plate? Oh, but okay, don't even go there. I'm just, you, just, you don't do, you, we know you're not going to fix nobody, no plate. You, you want me to fix your plate? I said, yeah, baby, baby yeah, yeah, baby, uh, yeah, bring me something to eat. Without teaching a, a lesson. And she sees that. And, and she hears me say, thank you, baby. And then she sees, sees the wife smile say, you're welcome. And, and she sees it, notice this, repeatedly. Not just on Valentine's Day. It's a regular thing. That's good. That's good and they see it all the time. The likelihood that that young lady, when she get in a relationship with her significant others, the likelihood that she's going to serve. Well, well you shouldn't be talking like women. We, we, we just an equal. We talking about a healthy relationship. No, no, a, a spiritual, biblical relationship. We're not talking about what they talk about on Everywhere else. And, and so, and so I'm, I'm, what, what are you saying, Brother Gary? I'm saying we got some work to do. And let me finish this. Let me finish this. See, cause, because I, I know I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to just stay, but, but I know some of the arguments that we get from those, you know, like the kids who say, but, 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 but my, but Gary, my, my parents too strict. That's good. I mean, you know, I'm not abusive, but strict a, a, quite a healthy relationship. You, you, a parent's gonna be strict, amen. Not not abusive, but but you the parent, amen. And 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 so 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 I, I remember I used to say I used to think myself as I mean, my my parents, my mom and daddy they just oh, they you know they can't do I, you, and we would say that you can we can't do nothing. But that wasn't the case, but you know, you're going to exaggerate. My parents wanted us at home a certain time. What kind of, how, who, what parent would allow their ch child now, teenager, allow them to just come in and out? No questions, no nothing. What parent, listen, but, but, but Gary, it's a different world. It's a more dangerous world <laughs> that we're in right now. Yeah, and so, and so, so, so I, listen to what the scripture says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. All discipline for the moment seems not to be joyful. And so do you get that in your head right now? You're going to have some resistance. Yeah, you, it, you're not going to be the most popular person as a parent. There's some of our kids not going to want to do what you, that, I learned how to work from my dad. My daddy used to make us work. I mean, my daddy used to, my, my, four, all four, four boys, we all knew how to sweep. We knew how to rake. We knew how to wash dishes. We, knew, we, we, look, we, we knew how to pick up stuff. We, were, we all, we had jobs when we were young. 
And I'm telling you, as a grown man, I say, thank you, Daddy, because I see too many lazy boys that don't know how to do. And you know why they don't know how to do nothing? Because nobody trained them. No, listen, listen to this. Nobody made, sometimes you have to make your, not beat them, but you have to insist. You have to, you, you have to tell children, ch children don't just get up on, out the bed. You have to tell, it's time to get up. Amen, somebody. How many of our children would even come to worship if we didn't? insist. You know why some folks are, are at home now? You know why some, even some of our kids right now, we let them tell us. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> you, I don't, I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feet. I know some things that I would do different. He says this, he says, but he said, all, all discipline for the moment seems not to be joyful, but sorrowful. That's what the scripture says. Yet to those who have been, notice this, trained by it. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. yeah I, I would do, I'd do a few things different. I'd be trained, I would have trained more. I'd have had them with me more. Mean. I know they got a mama. Especially to you younger parents. Put in the work. Notice, you, you put in the work and it gets easier when they get older. Isn't it beautiful when your kids are independent and they come and do something for you? Who praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I remember when my girls bought me a gift. They, the first time they bought me some gifts. I don't know if it was my birthday, whatever it was. Going, they bought me. I'm like, you, y'all spent your money? Because <laughs> sometimes they buy gifts, but they use your money. <laughs> ha! Woo! I need to stop. I need to stop. But that's, that's more. The, the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 2, verse 51, and he went down with them and came to Nazareth. Talking about Jesus when he was a young boy, and he continued in subjection to them. Jesus was obedient to his parents. And so his parents had to have been telling him what to do. Healthy relationships require subjection. See, I, see, I, I started with the kids, and there's so much more to say. But healthy relationships, any relationship requires subjection. It requires what do you mean, brother? It requires obedience. The book the Bible tells us in Ephesians 5:21, and be subject to one another. In the book, keep on reading where it says, Wives, be subjected to your husband. That's the one I won't know. You need this one. <laughs> to be in a healthy relationship, nobody has their way all the time. Nobody. 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 And so, so 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 we. We're trying to be pleasing to God in our relationships. And we just got some work to do. Help us. That's what I say. Help us, Lord. And, you know, I, I have me, let me, let me just, let me save some, some, let me save some for next time. But God be with us as we try to be servants for him. But remember, we have made it to heaven. And, and, and I, the last lesson on the foundations, the first commandment is to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and your might. The next is to love your neighbor as yourself. See, if we don't learn how to function in healthy relationships, some of us got a love for God, but you can't tell it by the way we interact with people. And notice this. The Bible tells us that the second commandment is, is just like, it's just as important as the first commandment. 
And so don't go out around here telling everybody how holy you are and can't nobody get a, you can't get alone. If you're here today, you're not a child of God. You need to be. You come by faith believing that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. If you're willing to repent of all your sins and confess Christ and be baptized in water for the forgiveness of your sin, God, you start the journey. You're a child of God. And we grow in Christ Jesus, in his teachings. But our journey only begins when we get out of that water. It would be good if you got baptized, if I got baptized, and God just took me on the glory. That would be the most ideal thing, but that, does, that does normally does not happen. And God places us in his body to function in his body which is metaphorically linked to a human body, but we all are part of the body, but none by ourselves. And I hope and pray, Lord, don't let me miss heaven because I, my people's skills are horrible. If you're here today and you need to be baptized, please come. If you're here and you have a prayer request, won't you come as we stand and sing? The song of invitation. Show me the way. Well, show me the way. Oh, well, I am down here, Lord, and I need your power to show. Show me. Show me the way, come on and show me the way, sing, show me the way, well, show me the way, oh, well, I am down here, Lord, and I need your power. Show, show me, show me the way. And Lord, I'm your child, sing Lord. I'm your child, well, Lord, I'm your child. Oh, well, I am Show me, show me the way, mm, and Lord, I'm your child, sing, Lord, I'm your child, oh, well, Lord, Lord, I, I'm your child, oh, well, I am And I need, oh, your power to show, show me, show me the way. Come on and show me the way, sing, show me the way, mm, well, show, oh, show me, me the way. again say oh Lord and you say oh everybody say oh Lord you restore sing that again say oh come on you say everybody say oh you restore I was broken and I was broken. Come on, and I 
Oh, when you know that I But you restore Fix it, Jesus, fix it Only you can Only you can fix Because you restore Oh, when you are able, you Yes, you're able I know you're able Yeah because then you restore oh how he loves me oh how he come on then oh oh how he loves me oh because then you restore and oh how i love him oh how i love him you say oh how i love him oh because then you restore Singing, oh Lord, oh, come on, you say, everybody say, oh, because you restore. One more time, sing, oh, come on, sing, oh, everybody say, oh, you restore me. In my heart, sometimes I ponder as down life's road. I wonder to who I see, see over yonder where peace and love. Thank you, Brother Gary, for that lesson. We all can do a better job of building and sustaining healthy relationships, and especially as Christians. Your lesson had a great impact on our brothers and sisters. Um, we have one that has decided to place their membership here at Fifth Ward Church of Christ. If, if I call your name, please stand so the church can recognize you and know who they're praying for. Uh, Sandra Williams, how are you doing? Uh, she says she's a former member of Missouri City Church of Christ, and she desires to place her membership here. We'll see you after service. Brother Larry Hamilton will find you, and we'll go from there. Matter of fact, you probably can meet in that room right there. We also have Lee Weber. Lee Weber, how you doing, brother? He says he confesses his sins to God and asks for forgiveness, and he stands in need of prayer. We have Sarah Pettiford. 
How you doing? She says she confessed her sins to God and asked for forgiveness and also stands in need of prayer. We have Anthony Curtis. He's saying he confessed his sins to God and asked for forgiveness and also stands in need of prayer. He's awaiting results from an interview. So we're praying with you that it all goes well. We have a brother Gerard Foster. He said he confessed his sins to God and asked for forgiveness. He is praying for a better relationship with himself and uh, friends so he can recognize healthy relationships and uh, I guess to be better in that regard. Yeah. Praying with you, man. We have uh, Stanley Stearman. Sherman. Sherman. He says he confesses sins to God and has forgiveness. He also stands in need of prayer. We're with you, Brother Stanley. We have uh, Arnold Edemon Andami. He, uh, he confesses sins to God and asks for forgiveness and also stands in need of prayer. Great seeing you again, too. We have Chanel Baker. Chanel Baker. Hello. Should I read your card? Uh, she says she confesses her sins to God and asks for forgiveness and stand in need of prayer. Pray for my aunt, Robin Ross. She has stage three lung cancer. Praying with you and your aunt. We're praying, uh, we also have Jessica Ivory. She says she stands in need of prayer. Um, she also has asked for prayer for a traveling grace as she travels to Memphis, Tennessee for her granddad's funeral. Praying with you. We have Kathleen Johnson. She says she's standing in need of a prayer. Uh, she's praying for her uncle who has suffered several seizures and a stroke. He is walking with difficulty and speech is slurred, but God is continuing to give him strength. Amen. We have Brother Antonio Hill. He says he stands in need of prayer. Praying with you, Antonio. Then we have Brother Derwin Stevens. Brother Durbin Segan says he confesses sins to God and asks for forgiveness and also stand in need of prayer. He says he wants to thank the church for support on his sister's passing. Praying with you, Brother Stephen. And then we have Shaquela Magruder. Maybe she passed in. She says she's standing in need of prayer and she's asked for strength and guidance. Um, there are so many others, I'm sure, that are going through things in their season. We're praying with you as well. Let's go to God in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your grace and your mercy. Father, every day we realize as we live this life that things could be so much worse. So we thank you for all the things that you've done. Father, we're thankful for the challenges and the trials that you put in our lives because we know those things make us stronger. They let us know how powerful you are if we just trust you and follow you like good children. Father, be with all our brothers and sisters who are having struggles with Satan. Father, Satan is so crafty, so tricky. He's relentless. So, Father, we're asking that you deliver us from the trials and tribulations that he's put in our lives. Mercy, Lord. Father, we're trying to live lives that will bring honor and glory to your name. We're trying to be the light on this earth. But, Father, we need your help. We need your help, Lord. Help us say the right things that people can see you more clearly. Pray that we do the right things that people won't be distracted by our negative behavior. Father, pray that we can love a little bit better so that folks know we belong to you. And that'll be enough. In the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Like I say good morning, church. Yes. If you have your community package, take a look at them for me. Because we have some, we have two different packages, and I noticed some of y'all were struggling with the package last week. That's what I was told. So listen very carefully so I can explain them to you how they work. I didn't know they had changed. I knew the box had changed, but. And you still got some of the old ones. The old one had one tab on the end here. You know how to open that, that's the original one. We have a new one that got two tabs. One on each end. 
The one with the little bump, if you put your hands on the little bump, you can feel it, that's the one to open the bread. And on the other end, you just grab that whole tab and it'll open up for your juice. Got it? So you won't be struggling with it and some of y'all didn't take the Lord's step, y'all need to repent. So we'll go from there. If you are in need of a communion packet, uh, do raise your hand uh, during the next song. One will be brought to you. Why did my Savior come to earth and to and to the humble go? Oh, and why did he choose a lowly bird? Because, because he loved me so, will then he love me so, me so, and he loved, oh, he loved me so, me. And he gave his precious life for me, for me, because he loved me so well, and he loved me so, and he loved, he loved me so. His precious life for me All oh, because, because He loved me so As we prepare for the communion We look in the New Testament in Acts 20 and 7 Upon the first day of the week When the disciples came together to break bread We also look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11 Starting at verse 23 for I received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night he was betrayed, took bread. And after, after death, he, he took bread and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Let us pray for the bread. To our great Lord, to our great Father in heaven, dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for blessing us to see this day. We thank you for this time we can come and commemorate Jesus coming to this earth for us. We pray that as we eat of this bread, that our minds will reflect on Jesus. All these blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This time we will take the bread. Now for the cup. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Let us pray for the cup. Again, Lord, we say thank you. We thank you for Jesus over and over again, dear Lord. We pray that as we drink of this cup, that our minds will reflect back on Jesus. All these blessings we ask in Jesus' name again. Amen. Amen. This time we will take the cup. Oh, 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 there's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. And everybody say, oh, 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 there's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. And everybody say, oh. Oh, oh, nobody like you, Lord. Well, there's nobody like you, Lord. And everybody say, oh, 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 nobody like you, Lord. Y'all don't believe that, do you? Come on and sing, well, oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. 
Nobody like you, Lord. Come on and lift your voice and say, Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Oh, come on, sing now. Oh, oh, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Come on and sing now. Oh, 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 oh. nobody like you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Nobody. Repeat after me. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name. Your name is strength. Your name is power. A strong tower makes me say. And everybody say, oh, 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 nobody like you, Lord. Sing, nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Sing, oh, oh, oh. there's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Come on and sing, oh. I really love you, Lord. I really love you, Lord. Oh, I really love you, Lord. Oh, and everybody say, Oh, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Amen. As we prepare for the offering, we look in the New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. But this I say, he was sowed sparingly, shall reap also sparingly. He was sowed bountifully, shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver. There are several ways to give. We can mail it in. We can give online, or if you want to give now, just raise your hand and the brothers will come by and pick it up. Basis. Two wings to fell my face, I want two wings, two wings. To fell my feet, I want two wings, two wings. To fly away, and the world can't do me no harm. Come on and sing, I want two wings, two wings. To fell my face, I want two wings, two wings. To fell my feet, I want two wings, two wings. To fly away, and the world can't do me no harm. Come on and sing I want two wings to build I want two wings two wings to bread off I want two wings two wings to fly away and the world can't do me no harm I want two wings two wings to build my face altos two wings to build my feet I want two wings two wings to fly away and the world can't do me no harm. All I want to, two wings to veil my face, tenors. Two wings to veil my feet. Two wings to fly away. And the world can't do me no harm. Come on and sing, I want to wing. To veil my face, I want to wing, to wing. To fail my feet, I want to wing, to wing, to fly away, and the world can't do me no harm. Let us give thanks to our great Lord, to our great Father in heaven. Dear Lord, we thank you because you bless us so much and in so many ways. We thank you for this time we can come and just give back a small portion of what belongs to you anyway. We pray for those that administer these funds. They have nothing but your kingdom in mind. All these blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning.
Just before the brother comes up for announcement, I want to take this time to ask you to take your time to mark on your calendar February 24th for the uh, Season Saints slash Educational Ministry Cultural Program. Uh, you'll have a good time if you should come. Uh, you'll be treated to uh, songs. You'll be treated to a walk through history with some timely uh, visits from historical characters. And you'll be, be uh, there'll be other surprises there for you also. So again, February 24th, Saturday at 9 a.m. Be here for the Season Saints slash Educational Ministry uh, Cultural Program. So uh, if you miss it, you'll miss out on a great time. And if you haven't picked up on it yet, there is something involved in the whole program that has to do with time. So take time to do that. Thank you. All right, good morning. Good morning. Now I'll take a moment to uh, highlight some of our Sunday announcements. First off, we'd like to extend our love and sympathy to Norval and Charlotte Young and family on the passing of his mother. Uh, Narbaline Tarver. Visitation is uh, 10 a.m. The funeral is 11 a.m. It will be Thursday, February 15th at Crestmont Park Church of Christ, um, 5907 Zelensky, 77048. Uh, service will be entrusted to Cashmere Garden Funeral Home. Also, we want to be mindful of Robert and Samantha Scott, Patrick Scott and family on the passing of their mother, Marcia Lynn, or it's Marcia Lynn Scott and to Sierra and Sean, their grandmother, to also to Chris Green, his aunt. The viewing is 8 a.m. The funeral service is 10 a.m. on Saturday, February the 17th at Thomas Boulevard Church of Christ in Port Arthur, Texas. Services will be entrusted to Gabriel uh, Funeral Home. Also, we want to be mindful of Jessica, Jessica Ivory and family on the passing of her grandfather, William H. Ivory Sr. Um, the visitation is 11 a.m. and and the service is 12 noon on Saturday, February 17th. The services are at Union Grove Missionary Baptist Church in Memphis, Tennessee. And the service is trusted to N.J. Ford and Sons Funeral Home. Also, we want to be mindful. We have so much, so many losses uh, to Derwin and Pam Stevens and family on the passing of his sister, Martha Joy Stevens Jones. The funeral was 3 p.m. on Friday, February 9th at Pruitt Funeral Home. Also, speak prayerful of Curly Harrison family on the passing of her cousin, Marguerite Bryant. The funeral was Saturday, February 10th in Jacksonville, Florida. She requests your prayers for traveling grace. The sisters class. Okay, thank you. There's another loss for Willie, be mindful and prayerful to Willie Mae Combs. That's the mother of Sherry Roberts and the mother-in-law of James Roberts and the grandmother of Cherie Roberts. She passed away Friday. The funeral services are pending. There's so many that are suffering with, with loss. Just take a moment to reach out. It doesn't take a lot of effort just to let somebody know you care about them. It's, we're a family, right? All right, well, let's build those healthy relationships like Brother Gary was encouraging us to do. Uh, the sisters class will be held today, like we need to tell them, um, room 213. Uh, the pre presenter is Sister Yolanda Bates. They're doing a, a great work. It's overflowing. Uh, also, they need help with the realm. If you're having problems with realm or need assistance setting up your contributions with the realm or online giving, please come to the front of the foyer after worship uh, for assistance. Also, attention to all married couples. The Couples Love Feast is this Wednesday, February 14th at 6 p.m. in the Resource Center. We will begin on, ti on time. Let me say it again. We will begin on time, and the Marriage Wisdom class will be held right after our meal. There's also babysitting and, and uh, Bible classes for the kids as well. So I thank the leadership for making the marriages a priority. So thank you. Hopefully you can attend. And then he already made the, the, uh, the announcement about the cultural program entitled your story, your community, hashtag you matter. All right. And that'll be on Saturday, February 24th. Um, lastly, uh, we also want to be, uh, want to congratulate brother and sister D'Amico and Jamila Ryans on the birth of their daughter, Zuri Rose Ryans. Uh, I know you, you know, I, I said the ladies, oh, yeah, I don't know if you want to clap or not. It's a 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, here's her stats, because I know you women think about these stats. Um, she was seven pounds, 14 ounces, and 21 inches. Okay. Y'all, y'all know if that's good or bad. I, <laughs> to me, baby, girl, great. You know, so uh, baby, mommy, and daddy are doing well, and I, they are thankful for your prayers. Uh, this conclu- oh, we also have one more thing. We have a, our new brother in Christ. Uh, we have a certificate for him. Uh, brother Willie Wade Cotton. Come on forward. Amen. Amen. those who don't know, that's the brother of Sister Lois Washington. He let me know that a couple of times. Uh, man, great job, Arzell. You did a great job. I was excited about the singing this morning. Uh, this concludes the uh, morning announcements. Now we make way for our elder for the closing remarks. I'd like to say good morning again good morning. and welcome those who are visiting with us. At the Fifth Ward Church of Christ, you are indeed our honored guest. And if you don't mind for a moment, if you are visiting, could you stand so we can give you a hearty Fifth Ward welcome, please? Any visitors? We thank you for coming to worship with us. We pray that your stay with us has been beneficial to you. We want to be thankful also and grateful to Brother Gary this morning for that sermon. I tell you, he's, he's picking some topics that, that are just dear, near and dear to my heart, and I hope and pray that they are to yours as well, about relationships. And we thank you, Brother Gary, for the fine job that you're doing. Like Sister Dennis says, stay on the wall. Keep on keeping on. We uh, want to be thankful and grateful that I was asked to do a special announcement, if you would bear with me, if we could have all the widows and widow words to stand for one moment, since this is Valentine's Day coming up. We have one of our sisters to wish to express some appreciation to those who are widows and widowers. May the Lord continue to bless you and keep you strong. Thank you, brothers. <clears throat> that didn't take any time. We also want to be mindful of those announcements that were made concerning the senior citizens thing this week coming up this next Saturday. And uh, for all those classes that you will be attending after we're dismissed from here. Brother Gary, we have no additional remarks. We pray and thank you for being with us. God bless you, keep you, and let his face shine upon you. We're thankful for our sister, Sandra Williams, who's becoming a member of the Fifth Ward Church of Christ. So when she comes out of there and you know her, welcome her, please. So if there's nothing else, let us be standing as we are being dismissed. Lord, the people praise you. Lord, the people praise you. We lift you up and raise you. 
And I know you are the Holy One, you are the Holy One, and you're the one, you're the only one. Mm, well, and Lord, the people love you. We place nobody above you. And I know you are the Holy One. We'll come on, and you're the one, you're the only one. So we're singing halle, halle, hallelujah. Oh, well, and all the glory is due you. And I know you are the Holy One. We'll come on, and you're the one, you're the only one. Oh, so we're singing halle, halle, hallelujah. Oh, well, and all the glory is due you. And I know you are the Holy One. Mm, come on, and you're the one, you're the only one. Well, I know that you're the one, you're the only one. Mm, come on, and you're the one, you're the only one. Well, I know that you're the one, you're the only one. Let us pray. Great Master, we come thanking you once again for allowing us to have the privilege to assemble and worship you in spirit and in truth. Pray that we are as the recipients of your word, that it will resonate through our lives, will permeate through the people that we meet. Be with us, keep us. We give you all the praise, all the honor, and the glory. It's in Jesus' sweet name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let the glory of the Lord Let it rise, rise come among us. us. Let the glory of the Lord Let it rise, rise among the praises us. Of Let our the King. praises of our King Let it rise, rise among us. us. Let it rise, rise. sing. Our King, our King. Let, it rise. let it rise, come on now, let it rise. Hey, hey, hey. so we sing, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Let, it rise. let it rise, yeah, let the joy of the Lord say, come on now, let it rise, mm, let the joy, come on now, let it rise. Let the praises of, of our King let it rise. rise yeah. Come on let now, rise. we've got to let it rise. So we sing, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Let, it let it rise. So we sing, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. And let it rise. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Let it rise. So we sing. Let the glory of the Lord. 
Lord say that the glory of the Lord let it rise, rise come on us. now let the glory of the Lord let it rise let the praises of, of our King let it rise, rise come on us. now let it rise yeah The spirit of the Lord say, let the spirit of the Lord let it rise. rise Come on us. now, let, let the spirit of the Lord let it rise. rise. Let the praise of, of our King let it rise. rise. Come on us. now, let it rise. Hey, 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 so we sing. Come on now, let it rise. Let the joy come on now, let it rise. Let the praises of our King let it rise. Come on now, we've got to let it rise. So we sing. So we're singing, oh, 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 let it rise, oh, oh, yeah, let it rise. So we sing, come on, we're singing, oh, 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 yeah, we're singing, oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, 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 we're singing, oh, 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 oh yeah. Let the praises of our King, let it rise. 